What is going on YouTube? Sawyer here back with another video. Today we are going to be reviewing 2022-2023 Panini Chronicles Draft Picks Hobby Box. Whew, that's a mouthful. Uh, I'm really excited about this product. I'm going to be making another video kind of explaining what my intent here is. This product originally released in November of 2022, but now we're almost in April of 2023. But really, I have this plan. I've got about a $2,500 budget. I'm trying to go through all of the, for the most part, all of the 2022-2023 uh, hobby boxes and sets that Panini is going to release this year, starting with Chronicles. So this is like really the first video of this uh, $2,500 budget challenge or whatever you want to call it again i'll i'll be explaining that in more detail in another video but as far as this box goes just some details this box retails between 100 to 125 probably more closer to like 110 125 um, you're getting 48 cards in each box and and the way that's broken out is there's six packs per box and eight cards per pack you're looking at two, approximately two non-base cards in every pack. So of those eight, two of those are going to be non-base. Um, you're also looking at four autographs or memorabilia cards between, you know, all the packs. So I typically see about two autographs, two memorabilia cards in most cases, but it says on average, so that can fluctuate. This is a 25 card set so we're really dealing with just the top rookies of the 2023 draft class and the confusing thing about this set is chronicles is known for having multiple sets placed into one set so there are over 20 sets i guess is what you'd call them represented they call them 20 different brands so you got spectra select mosaic optic um yeah, Don Russ, Contenders, uh, quite a few. I mean, the list is all in here. Luminance, yeah, Chronicles, uh, Don Russ Optic, Mosaic, Select. Um, and then you see all these parallels as well. I mean, this is like a whole novel. Could probably get a table of contents here. But in general, this is how it goes. Um, when it comes to parallels, serial numbered, big hits, we're talking in, in order of like, rareness we go red which is usually numbered to 99 sometimes all the way up to 199 so we go red blue to 99 purple to 49 blue ice to 22 gold to 10 and then either platinum one of ones super prime one of ones gold vinyl one of ones or firework one of ones a couple of case hits on the inserts we got the absolute kaboom and the explosive there's also a handful of autographs that are highly sought after. I think the um, the selecting flight signatures are pretty popular. Also, the gold standard RPAs are pretty nice. So, with no further ado, let's get into this box. I think it will be a pretty quick rip overall. Like I said, just six packs. Um, but I'm excited because this is like the start. This is the beginning for me. So... And what I'm planning on doing here, let's see, I, I'm no expert here, so I'm just going to leave this flipped over. Um, what I'm planning on doing is seeing, you know, how many different hobby boxes can I get for 2500 bucks, And then also comparing, once I rip all those open, um, you know, how much money am I making back? I, I'm not looking, I, I'm assuming that I'll make somewhere between like 20 to 50% of each box back when it's all said and done and averaged out but um, I'm excited to just like see what a typical 2023 um, hobbyist looks like so anyway let's dive in <clears throat> so the first six should be base cards we got a Tatum <clears throat> AJ Griffin Zach Levine Gamma Rays, Dyson Daniels, Jabari Smith on the Essentials. Oh, here we go. Starting off with that looks like a purple. I'm colorblind, so this is another struggle for me here. Purple Ty Ty Washington Jr. Optic. Not bad. 
a Jalen Duran base chronicles and a Paulo Ranchero luminance. Okay, I'm not quite sure how I want to organize this the uh, the hits and the base right now, so it might look a little sporadic, <clears throat> but we will see. Hopefully, we get our first auto here. So we got. Benedict Mathurin, or Matherin. I guess people say it different ways. On the uh, rated rookie, Don Russ. We've got Illuminance. Uh, Bochamp. This looks like our first auto, our mem card. Andrew Nemhard is a memorabilia. It's a substantial swatch, which is true. That is a pretty substantial swatch. That goes into our hit list. We've got Ochai Obaji. I think he's playing for the, is that colored? No. Okay. That's the thing. Some of these foil, some of these foil sets, like it's confusing to know if this is a parallel or not. Uh, power formulas. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, okay. Joel Embiid recon and a Gamma Rays, Jalen Williams, AJ Griffin mosaic, and a rated rookie Christian Brown. <clears throat> All right, so we're hoping for some more serial numbered cars. I don't think we've had any yet. And then uh, we haven't hit an auto either. We've got four packs left. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Terry Eason. Oh, what? Come on, baby. Come on. What do we got here? A serial numbered Panini threads of Paulo to 99. Man, I was hoping for a big auto. This is uh, decent. Decent. All right. We got Jaden Ivey. Power formulas. Is that red or is that just like a color? They just color match it? Okay. Our first Spectra, there's two per box. Christian Brown, rookie card. Uh, yeah, I guess that's just Prism. Uh, the other thing is, like, Spectra did, we'll, we'll count that as a hit. Spectra, like, changed their parallels just for this product, so they don't necessarily match up with, we got a Kennedy Chandler, and that looks like it has a ding right there. Um, KD and... Benedict Mathurin. Mathurin. Mathurin, Mathurin. I'm going to say Mathurin. I'm going to go with Mathurin. Anyways, what I was saying is Spectra... <coughs> sorry. Spectra changed their parallels just for this set. All right. Johnny Davis, Luminance. We've got a Malachi Branham. Is he getting much playing time? I don't know how much playing time he's getting for the Spurs right now, but they have a ton of guards. Uh, my first auto. Dang, that is a big one, but not a big player. Aminu Mohammed out of Georgetown. Number to 49. Man, too bad. Too bad. That's the thing about the... Oh, here we go. Chet. Chet Holmgren... Not numbered, but we'll put that over there. Benedict Math Matherin. <laughs> Benedict Matherin on the gamma rays. This looks like some type of parallel, but again, can't quite tell what kind. Kennedy Chandler, a looks like a court level Patrick Baldwin Jr. He's got an interesting future. Um, because he's on that Warriors team that has so much talent. Some of those rookies, it's hard for them to get some playing time, even if they're talented players. And Patrick Baldwin was one of those guys that was a top prospect coming out of high school, but he ended up like playing for his dad, I think, at some smaller college. So he went a little bit later in the draft, and so he's an interesting prospect to me. <clears throat> All right, we got Jabari Smith. We got our next 
Uh, okay, a true RPA. It's not on card. It's a sticker auto, but and we got the napkin uh, napkin jersey here. Jabari Walker, man, we did not do so hot today on our pulls. We'll go through them all, but we still have one pack left. There's still hope. We have the Essentials, the Power Formula, Recon, Bochamp, Ty Ty Washington with another pull. Looks like a Silver Mosaic, uh, Ochai Obaji on the Rated Rookie, Jaden Hardy. I'm trying to remember where Jaden Hardy played. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Jaden Hardy sounds familiar, but... <clears throat> All right, this pack is feeling thick. Wouldn't it be nice? So far, I mean, technically, we've gotten two autos and two mems, right? So we don't have... We shouldn't be getting anything else, but that pack felt thick. I'm not going to lie. So we got Jovic, Keegan Murray. There we go. First sign up. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Brady Manick. The North Carolina hero on the Panini threads. I mean, I guess I can't complain. We got five. We didn't get the four, the standard four. We got five, but they weren't that great. So maybe they were trying to compensate. Uh, Christian Braun on the Gamma Rays. EJ Liddell. Rise above on the second spectra. Jabari Walker. Flux, Jalen Duran, and a base, Kennedy Chandler. Ouch, guys. I don't think that was the greatest of pulls so far. So let me get all of the, um, the memorabilias and the serial numbered cards out first. Those will be like our main hits. All right, so let's take a look at the hits. We'll start with the the weakest stuff first. We've got a uh, base-rated rookie, Benedict Mathurin, Don Russ. we got a base luminance, Paulo Banchero. A uh, select court level, Patrick Baldwin Jr. Some type of parallel gamma rays, Benedict Math uh, Mathurin. And then a uh, recon, Chet Holmgren. <clears throat> On the middle... It's mainly just uh, Spectra and Mosaic, Ty Ty Washington, Christian Brown, uh, Jabari Walker. Nothing to really write home about. And then our big hits today, Brady Manick. I don't even know if he's I Did he even make a team? I don't even know if he made a team. We've got a 99 Jabari Walker. Man, we are a Jabari Walker magnet today. A... Numbered college ticket to 49, I believe, of Aminu Muhammad. Right? Purple to 49. Paulo Banchero threads to 99. It's probably our best best card. I'll try and get numbers up like uh, comps on eBay and stuff up after the video's over. We got Andrew Nemhard and a Ty Ty Washington Jr. purple rated rookie. So, not horrible. We, I'm guessing we made close to half the box back, but let me know what you guys think. Did you Have you opened this product? Did you do as well? Do you think I did all right? Am I complaining? Let me know. See ya.